Um, so a lot of you have been saying they're kind of confused on fractions and decimals and how they relate to each other. So I wanted to film a quick video showing you guys some, a little sneak peek of fractions and decimals that I don't think Zern is covering in those videos. And so I have up on the board um, a tens place work math. So our tens place on our decimal would be if say we had 0.9. So we have nothing in the ones place, a big goose egg, and then we have nine tenths, okay? That means I have a box right here that has 10 lines in it. So this is like a chocolate bar that has 10 pieces. If I ate 0.9 of it, that means I ate nine tenths of my chocolate bar. So I ate one, two, three, four, of my chocolate bar, okay? And so my fraction would be nine over 10, okay? So 0.9 is exactly the same as nine tenths. So if I were to write this out, I put nine tenths. Now I wanted to put it on a number line just like how we were doing fractions on number lines, where we have one whole front line, we have one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, ten tenths. It's the same exact thing for decimals. So we'd have 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and 1. Okay, so if I wanted to show my 0 0.9 or my 9 tenths on the number line, I'd go all the way down to the 9 line, which is also, you put 9 tenths or 0.9. Okay? I know it's kind of hard to see because the um, projector is projecting a big spot right here, but I hope that this helps you guys even just a little bit understand the connection between decimals and fractions, okay? So if I have a mixed number or I have an improper fraction, say I have one and two tenths, okay? I would have one and two tenths. Then you'd put your one here and your two here, and I'll show you that on another video, okay?